Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to do the first of a series of videos covering orbits and a number of different ways in which you can set up orbits and use them. I can't get it all done in five minutes, so I'm going to break this up into, um, I guess, at least two, but possibly three videos. So let's start with orbit. We're going to start in normal mode. I'll start with the most basic. So if you look up next, the drone link doesn't have the word expert next to it. So this is just going to be the most basic orbit and I'm going to show you how to set it up. So I'm going to click create and I'm going to say orbit and we're going to look for the Statue of Liberty. And the Statue of Liberty is actually not somewhere that's easy to fly at because it is in restricted airspace. It is a national park, but we're going to, we're going to put our orbit here. Um, I deliberately put it to the start point just outside, but we're going to move this into the middle. So we've, we've got this orbit and by default, if you click on the component, it's got an altitude of a hundred feet and a radius of a hundred feet. And we're going to be capturing video. So that's the most basic orbit, but is that good enough for what we're looking at here? Probably not. We know that the Statue of Liberty is just over 300 feet. And if you look at this, where this flies, I think you're going to find that at a hundred feet, we're going to be looking basically at a feet and you're not going to see much of anything. So how do we know? how far out we have to be to capture the whole area. And I want to include this star. So this is where this 3D planner up here comes in handy, top left. So if I click on 3D planner, you get this little virtual drone that appears. And by default, it's set at 175 feet. I know the Statue of Liberty is at 300 feet tall. So I'm going to start off by putting this around 200 feet so that we'll be sort of midpoint. If you look at the virtual drone coming out from it, you've got this shaded area and that shaded area tells you what's going to be in view of the camera. So as I can see here, and I can actually see this in this little window over here right now, I'm too close. This, the virtual drone. And if I were, you know, where this thing is, I'd be crazy close. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag the virtual drone out until the shaded area gives us coverage of all of the items that we need. And the other thing we need is to set the gimbal angle, which is done by by looking at this little dot here. This little dot tells you where the camera is going to be looking. So if you move this around, it will change the, the heading, but it will also change the gimbal angle. So I'm going to put that sort of in the middle there. So now we know that we've got coverage of everything we need. And if if the drone was out here, if the if the radius was out here. So knowing that this is where we need to be now, it's quite easy to set this in the orbit. We can literally just come up here, grab the orb, orbit start. You don't have to put the orbit start where the drone is. But if we move this so that the the line splits where the virtual drone is, that now lets us know that we've set the orbit correctly if we were at 200 feet, we're not at 200 feet right now. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to make the altitude 200 feet and you'll see the radius is now 472 feet. So if I were to run this as a, uh, as a preview, I'll turn off the little 3d drone here. What you'll see is we've now got video and it's capturing the statue of Liberty at 200 feet flying around it. So that shows us how to quickly set things up and make sure that we're capturing things correctly. And then in the next video, we're going to go into some more parameters such as the number of orbits and adjusting starting and ending altitudes and radiuses. So that's it. Feel free to reach out with any questions and uh, I hope you found this useful.